Hey Pisces, this is going to be your love reading for September 2018. If you guys want a private reading, all the information is in the description box below. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Awaken Soul Tarot. I do weekly card pulls, different types of uplifting posts and things like that. So I want to start off with a guidance session for you guys like I did in your August videos. So if you'd like, you can just relax and take a deep breath and focus on receiving the guidance that you need for your love life. Send positive intentions that you'll receive the guidance that you need. Pisces and your guidance for September is big happy changes so that's a beautiful card so just expect that if things have been going slow things haven't been going your way that changes are on the way we had a lot of planets retrograde during the summer so everything really slowed down in our life whatever we were dealing with whether it was work stuff family stuff love so now that many of the planets are moving direct, especially like Mars moved direct recently, you know, that's the warrior planet, we have um, more movement ahead. So what this card is saying is you may find yourself on a new path, entering a new relationship, or moving to a new home. Embrace the exciting events ahead and know that your angels, your guides, whatever you believe in, will be beside you all the way. Also, whatever you are asking may require you to take a leap of faith. So... A leap of faith can mean trusting, you know, trusting the universe, trusting your decisions, trusting yourself. So release whatever fears you have and follow your heart. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on with you. September 2018 in love. What does Pisces need to hear? Well, there are the big happy changes. We have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So some of you may have a decision, maybe getting some clarity. The Ace of Cups, new beginnings. Does Pisces need to hear, please? Got cards flying everywhere. What is the most important message Pisces needs to hear, please? All right, the most important message, the devil. So this is all about releasing who or what does not serve you. Karmic relationships, those things that you've been dealing with or you currently are dealing with, some of you may have already released that. The devil also represents Capricorn. So anything that's negatively affecting you or if you're dealing with a Capricorn, could be addictions, could be decisions to cut ties with whatever's not serving you. And we're starting off with the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords definitely has the ability to cut ties. She does so with some emotion, okay? She is the watery aspect versus the King of Swords. So some of you 
maybe getting some truths, telling some truths, expressing how you truly feel, getting a lot of clarity, making decisions based on your happiness, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups represents the completion of a cycle. So with the Ten of Cups next to the Ace of Cups, this can be a solid new beginning for you. Um, you know, this can be a sharing of feelings, emotional happiness. The Aces are brand new. So it could be the transformation of a relationship, yes, but it could also be a new relationship coming in. And we have the Six of Pentacles that can represent a gift given to you. It can also represent reciprocity. So sharing of feelings, equality. Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is fast moving energy. We do have a new moon in Virgo and that's going to be your seventh house because you're opposite Virgo. So September 9th, 9-9. Nine, nine a new moon so this can bring new life into your relationship since the seventh house rules emotions involving relationships and marriages contracts we also have the queen of cups this can be representative of you or if you're dealing with another water sign so we have air gemini aquarius libra capricorn we have more water but the queen of cups it's nurturing energy emotional energy the Queen of Cups is the type of person who will lay everything down to help you out, give you an ear to listen to. So with the Queen of Cups, judgment. This can be healing. So a lot of emotional healing going on here. This is also about decisions and righting wrongs. The Ace of Swords, clarity. And we have the Six of Swords. So moving away from whatever doesn't serve you. This devil energy, if you're dealing with that, can also be again about dealing with a Capricorn um, but with the six of swords you know that's leaving behind things that don't serve you the six is after the five so the five is overcoming those challenges all right let's clarify the queen of swords for Pisces please death so that can be the ending that can also be a transformation death rules scorpio so something here can be transforming or ending it can be the transformation of a relationship things are looking up in the death card you have the sun starting to rise so that means things are starting to look up for you guys some of you may have some releasing to do also the knight of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn so there's more earth energy here Knight of Pentacles also talks about a gift being given. That gift is something tangible, okay? Something that's abundant. So some kind of message possibly coming through. The Knight of Pentacles can be a slow moving energy if things have been slow. Um, this can be saying take your time with this process if you're going through an ending or deciding to cut somebody out of your life. Let's look at this Ace of Cups for Pisces, please. Temperance, beautiful. So emotional healing. Temperance is the card of Sagittarius. Temperance also involves taking it easy on yourself, finding a good balance, taking the high road, also taking the middle road. Okay, moderation in what you're doing. So if you've been over emotional lately, especially with all those retrograde planets, take it easy on yourself, take it easy on others. Definitely, um, you know, take the middle road. If you need a day to relax or something along those lines, give yourself the relaxation and healing time that you need if this is the process that you're going through. Let's look at this Eight of Wands. Messages coming through, a fast turnaround, a lot of things coming in at once, information. We have the Six of Cups that can deal with memories from the past, that can also deal with children. Okay, so the Six of Cups, if the situation involves children, the Ace of Cups, that can be an emotional new beginning. Okay, so yeah, there can be a child entering the picture with the Six of Cups here. One more with the Eight of Wands and Six of Cups, please. Let 
This can also talk about healing things from the past, healing old wounds. Ten of Cups, Moon, and the Page of Wands. So there's definitely some healing going on here with the Moon if you have some fears, worries, some things to deal with from the past. Things may be surfacing with the Moon here, okay? Ten of Cups again and the Page of Wands. So yes, you could be receiving messages. It could be spiritual messages as well. Things from the past that need healing in order for you to move forward. So there's a lot of healing energy here. A lot about moving forward. A lot of gaining insight and clarity. Six of Swords really transforming, moving away. Okay, Sixes deals with stability in relationships, things like that. Equilibrium, two Sixes here. So Sixes could be important for you. So with this new moon in Virgo, there's going to be a lot of healing, okay? Things coming to the surface to be healed, new life, new chances, all different opportunities for you guys to heal and start new relationships. So beautiful energy here. I'm going to pull a couple love cards for you guys. What does Pisces need to hear? Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. So a lot about stability here, emotional stability, miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. So some of you may be receiving some kind of a blessing. It can be a new relationship. It can be healing, new information, somebody new coming into your life, healing old relationships and old wounds. All right, my Pisces, I hope you guys have an amazing September. Take care.